Hey everyone, Evan here, and this is the Engineering Toolbox channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you five things that I think every engineer will learn in their first year on the job. Or maybe it's more accurately said that I think these are five things that every engineer should learn their first year on the job. Now this video is really geared towards students who are just graduating and looking for their first job or maybe their first internship, but they really apply to every engineer and I think every engineer learns them at some point in their career, but the key is learning them earlier in your career, right? I wish I would have known these things or at least started applying these things a lot sooner in my career. I always kind of knew about them or kind of thought they were important, but I didn't realize how important these five things are. So this is me giving you an opportunity to learn these things and start applying them right away in your career because I really feel that um, they're going to help you long term to have success. So with that, let's dive in. The first thing on the list of things that I think every engineer will learn in their first year on the job is that relationships are everything. And this really doesn't change from like college even. You know how if you want to go to the coolest parties, you got to know people there, right? You got to be able to hear about this stuff. Well, it doesn't really change once you get in the professional world, except maybe people are a little bit more mature, maybe sometimes. And if you think about it, there's a good chance that you got your job because of some connection you had. A lot of people get their jobs because of a prior internship that they did or a family member hooks them up with a job or maybe it's somebody you met or a professor recommended you. There's all sorts of reasons or ways that people get jobs largely because of the people that they know and the relationships that they've built. And I'm not just talking about like getting into the boys club and being you know, buddy, buddy with the president or whatever. Another reason that relationships are very, very key is that you need to be able to work with people, right? And having a good relationship with those people is going to be key to working with them successfully in projects and things that you have to do. So just imagine that you're trying to accomplish a project or you have some awesome design that you want to try to implement and get like the president to go for. Well, imagine you have a decent relationship with him, right? You can speak candidly about it. He trusts you. You have this ability to work together already established. So relationships are key in that aspect as well. All right, number two on the list is that you don't know anything. And even if you do, you should pretend you don't. So what do I mean here? What do you mean I don't know anything? I got this four year degree and I graduated top of my class and I went to this school or I did this internship with this awesome company and I learned all this stuff. I know, yeah, you have some awesome experience under your belt, but the thing is you don't know everything. I kind of struggle with this sometimes that I think I have the best solution to something, but what's more important, again, going back to the last point, is relationships. So if you come into every scenario thinking you know everything and you have the best answer to everything, what you're doing is you're damaging those relationships. You have to be able to approach these things in kind of an indirect way and work together with people to come to the best solution. So I'm not saying that you should play dumb necessarily, but you shouldn't approach things like, I have the best answer to this and I'm coming in like guns blazing and I'm gonna make my point. And this seems obvious, right? But it's really easy to fall into this trap of trying to prove that um, you're very smart all the time. And it's just, it's totally unnecessary. It's kind of an ego trip and it's not necessary early on in your career. What you should do instead is let your work speak for itself. You should um, take on whatever work you can. And if you have to let somebody else take the lead early on in your career, that's fine. Let them make the decisions. Just let your work speak for itself. Do a good job on the projects you do get until, again, you start to have some influence and people start to trust you and you build those relationships. Then you might start to see your ideas get put into action. Going back to relationships, if you pretend you don't know anything, and what I mean by that is asking a lot of questions like, hey, what do you think about this? It's not that you're playing dumb, it's more that you're just asking for people's opinions because you're recognizing the fact that there are other opinions and other ideas that might be valuable out there. So just the act of asking somebody for their opinion can build relationships. Um, so it means that you trust them, you show trust, you get trust. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so that's really more what I mean when I say pretend you don't. I don't mean playing dumb. So the third thing is that continuous learning is very critical. and not just for career advancement, like I think that's what people think about, is that you need to learn to advance your career, and that's completely true. But in engineering, as with a lot of other careers, especially today as technology advances, you need to be continuously learning just to stay relevant. The way software and everything advances, if you're not keeping up with that and learning those uh, new technologies and new tools, you're gonna fall behind and you're not gonna be even relevant. Not only are you going to not get promotions, but you're not even gonna be able to keep your job. And that is something that I realized pretty quick. Um, not that I was ever threatened, but it's definitely something that's important. The other piece of that, obviously continuous learning is very important for career advancement. So if you want to get paid more money, if you wanna become a manager, if you want to get a promotion, you're gonna to have to learn more. So if you wanna be a manager, you're gonna to have to learn managing skills. You're gonna to have to practice your leadership skills. You're gonna to have to go to some seminars, read some books, 
Um, if you want to become a specialized kind of engineer, maybe you need to look at some certifications. Put in the time, get the certifications, go for an advanced degree. Um, all those things are definitely going to be very important if you want to continue to advance in your career. Number four, this one's kind of a sad one, but it is absolutely a reality. It's not going to be as fun as you think it will be. So I think a lot of times students have this idea in their head that when they graduate, they're going to be building rockets and planes and like designing crazy bridges or like all this stuff, right? You're not going to get to do the fun projects until you do steps one, two, and three, right? So these things are all kind of building on each other if you haven't noticed. So there's going to be times when you're doing like boring data entry or time studies or doing like boring calculations or something. Maybe you like that. I don't know. I don't, but <laughs> um, you're going to have a lot of boring tasks and you're not going to be even doing necessarily the fun projects until later on. And even if you do get lucky and you're doing fun projects early on in your career, it's not going to be that all the time. There's going to be other things going on. The other piece of it is hopefully you're going to get along with most of your coworkers, but you're going to struggle to work with some people and that's reality. But again, going back to relationships, you have to do your best to maintain at a very minimum a professional relationship with those people, but there are going to be struggles. You're going to butt heads. You're going to um, disagree with people a lot, but the better you are at building those relationships, the more fun and the easier things are going to be for you in your career. So the last thing that I think every engineer will learn their first year on the job is that you have a responsibility. And this is something that I learned from my boss. He taught me that engineers are inherently leaders within their company, whether they like it or not. And it might be partly because of their education or their skill set and because of the fact that they have a lot of responsibility and they have to make tough decisions a lot of times. So keep that in mind always that as an engineer, the decisions that you make have the potential to impact the company, the safety of its employees, your community, and the environment as a whole. So it's really important to realize the responsibility that you have as an engineer and how your actions can affect those other areas. All right, thank you to all my viewers and subscribers for checking out this video. If you did like it, please consider subscribing if you're not already. Um, and then I'm curious to see what you think about this style of video. Most of my stuff is kind of centered around tutorials and learning different engineering tools, but I thought maybe I'd do some more face-to-face -face type videos. Um, so let me know what you think about that. But anyways, thank you again, and we'll see you next time.